We're dealing with madmen. I don't have time to tell you more. I'm going to destroy the chip in my cell phone so they can't track you down. And it is with great pleasure that I have the privilege of telling you that at this very moment, a freighter chartered by Group W, containing some 70,000 tons of milk, has just made its departure for Genavia. And in conclusion, I would like to point out that all credit for this humanitarian operation should go to Miss Jenny Lucas, director of our agribusiness branch. Thank you very much. Phew, I'm glad that's over. Forget these crazy reporters and get back to Sullivan and his guests in the VIP room. Largo. So, John, what did you think about my performance? You were great, Largo. This humanitarian thing will do wonders for Group W's image. I see you're getting used to the dreary ins and outs of high society. Do you know where Jenny Lucas is? I think I saw her heading for the terrace. Then why don't you go and congratulate her personally? She'll appreciate some compliments from the head of Group W. I plan on it. She really did a good job. Have you seen Simon anywhere? You can't miss him. You'll find your friend in an alcove with a, how would you say, rather questionable young lady. I see Simon's found himself another future ex. Largo, you know what I think about Simon over and as. I'd rather not go into the matter. Don't worry, John. I'll tell Simon to keep a low profile tonight. Hmm. Simon! Hello, Largo! So, how was your vacation, Bonehead? Don't ever mention Miami again, okay? What of geriatrics? Don't tell me she's 70 years old. Samantha? No, I met her on the plane. Not bad, huh? Are you gonna introduce me? Samantha Largo Winch. Mr. Winch is a major film producer. Largo Samantha Winkle. Samantha's on her way to a big career in modeling. What's all this about being a film producer? Relax, I told her I was a casting director. Get it? Oh, by the way, nice speech. Still the little scammer. You'll never change. Yeah, well, you know me. I like to focus my humanitarian operations on a more personal level. Isn't Joy with you? What about Kerensky? No, that type of evening's not their thing. You know that. What did you tell that poor girl anyway? You know, sometimes I wonder why I still trust you. Because I'm your best buddy. That, and because you know I'm always willing to give a hand to my favorite billionaire. And anyway, there's no harm done. She wanted to see some classy people. And that's what she got, right? You scoundrel. You'll never change. Miss Lucas? You can call me Jenny, Mr. Winch. 
I thought your speech was dead on. Very moving. Miss Lucas, Jenny, I wanted to congratulate you for setting up this whole thing. You're the one that got this whole humanitarian project for Dronavia started, and without your devotion, I'm sure it never would have seen the light of day. Even while taking care of a number of Group W subsidiaries, you were able to find enough energy to organize this humanitarian mission. Well done. Well, I'm surprised to see that behind our CEO's adventurous image lies a heart of gold. Are you trying to make me blush, Jenny? I'd imagine it takes more than that to make Largo Winch blush. And there's no need to congratulate me, Largo. I'm the one that should be thanking you for greenlighting this operation in the first place. I hate these wars. All I did by getting this project started was my duty as a responsible citizen of the world. You're absolutely right, Jenny. Group W's far too hung up on its own little financial problems. We owe it to ourselves to do something for Genavia. Dronavia's history is sadly ironic. Yes, now Dronavia is being oppressed by its Baluka neighbors, while 30 years ago it was the other way round. The Dronavians used to carry out the most horrible atrocities on the Baluka people. In many ways, Dronavian children are the victims of the horrors their parents committed 30 years ago. These ethnic conflicts never end. Let's hope the aid we're sending will ease the Dronavian people's pain a little. Until everyone calms down and long-lasting peace becomes foreseeable. Largo, sorry to disturb you, but I've just been told that Sharon Green should be here any minute. She's got some bad news for you concerning one of our Mexican labs. Sharon Green? Our communication officer. She's the one who keeps tabs on Group W's image. And if she wants to see you, chances are we're headed for a scandal. Thanks, John. I'll be there in a minute.